Hey guys, it is Thursday and we are out the door to go to Bella's school and it's been a productive morning already. I've been trying to get footage for the next lookbook. You guys can see that they're in their little matching outfits so I decided to try to get some quick footage of them. Which pretty much consisted of me trying to say things over and over and when I was holding the camera trying to flash and going, Natalie, Natalie, Natalie! And they were just cracking up. They thought it was hilarious. So we are going to go to school and Bella has her Christmas party today! So we are out the door. Today's vlog is going to be a little crazy. What a crazy, crazy morning. So we just dropped Bella off at school and then I just met a local lady that makes custom cupcakes and she was doing a special thing where all the proceeds went to a family uh, that lives in the area that's in need at Christmas time. So I went and picked up a couple of these that I purchased to help donate to that. And we're going to go run to the post office and then we're going to go to a Christmas party at Bella's school. I have to go take these cupcakes inside so she doesn't want them the whole time. Anyways, we're going to go to a party at Bell's school this morning and then we will be home for lunch. It's been a crazy morning, although you guys have not seen any of it because I've just been running around like she was like that cut off. But it's been fun so far and it's only like 9.45. Nothing! No! You could check the mail. All right, we are done with Bella's Christmas party. So, so fun, so cute. And Natalie got to go. And Bella made me this, complete with the wrapping paper. How cute is that? And then I opened up the card that she made, that all the kids made little cards attached to the present. And she wrote her name. I'm so excited. Good job, Bella. You did a good job writing your name. This is gonna go up on the wall. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So mommy's excited. We just had a great time at the party. It was, it was a lot of fun. And she got all kinds of cute, they had a little gift exchange. She got all kinds of cute things. So we are very excited. We had a very good time. All right, we are home and we're gonna eat some lunch and we stopped at Taco Bell for a treat. And we are going to have lunch and then put all of our stuff away from the party. <laughs> Natalie took out her hair in the car. We have had a good morning. It was a lot of fun. Did you have fun at your Christmas party, Isabella? We had a lot of fun playing with your friends, huh? And we are going to split this delicious thing. These are supposed to be some very delicious cupcakes. We have a lot of different cupcake makers around here in this area for whatever reason. And this is one of them. So I am excited to try this. And it's very highly. This is a chocolate chip cookie dough, I think, or something like that. So she just makes a lot of specialty flavors. So I'm gonna give a little pieces of this to the girls and try it myself. And we also got a pumpkin cheesecake cupcake and I think the other one is just the same flavor. Scissor Huggies. Oh, Scissor Huggies. Oh, Scissor Kisses. Oh, you guys are too cute. Do you guys have fun at your party together? <laughs> Look at these two. Oh, good kisses, Isabella. <laughs> Look at this super cute gingerbread that Bella brought home from school too. So I'm gonna go hang this up on the playroom wall. And she also brought home her Scholastic Book Club order. So I'm gonna get that out and we're gonna read some of those books. And this is gonna be really cute. You guys know I love gingerbread, so. It's gonna be really cute on the wall. And that's what it looks like up on our little art wall. And this is what it's looking like right now. This year I left like some of the old regular ones underneath. I don't really know why I did that. Um, I probably really need to take some artwork off on here because it looks really cluttered. But all the Christmas stuff is on top. So everything that they've brought home from like school and stuff, I've tried to like just put it on top. And I needed to start taking the letters off of there. Because obviously those are fairly older. But she's made these adorable things at school. Except for this, this is from last year that I pulled out of the, these two things are from last year that I brought out of our Christmas stuff. And the holiday theme stuff, I will save. Like all of these things that she made at school, I'll save all that. Now some of the other art projects she brings home, I'm just gonna take digital copies of them and make an art book, but there's a little penguin. But all of the holiday theme stuff I'll save for now, so. All right, so we got her Scholastic book order. We're gonna read, Is It Christmas Yet? One of her books that she got in her book order. Christmas! Christmas! Good job! The other one, you want to read the book about gingerbread? I'm excited because this book actually looks like 
a book that we have at Halloween. And it's a really, really good book. Hold on. You got money? All right, you guys ready for the gingerbread book? Yay! Yay! So this is the 10 gingerbread book, and I think it's the same author that the 10 little, what was it? 10 little trick-or-treaters. This is a cute little book. 10 gingerbread men love bouncing everywhere. One stops to cuddle up to a furry bear. Five gingerbread men leave a cookie trail. One meets a playful puppy and with a wagging tail. Puppy. A puppy. Four gingerbread men run along some more. One sees a pirate ship and stays to explore. And see the pirate ship? Two gingerbread men hop and skip along. One spies a ballerina dancing to a song. You see a pretty ballerina? So it's going to be rest time here in just a little bit. And we may try doing some more lookbook after the kids are awake from nap. And hopefully I got enough in these outfits because now obviously they've eaten in them. And that's why I had them do the lookbook stuff before. You like your pretty tree? I like your pretty tree too. You like your trees? It's about 5 after 12, so I'm going to play for a little bit till about 12.30. It's 15. Oh, 15? <laughs> then it's going to be time to go take a rest. Yellow. Yellow? Do you see yellow up there? It's <laughs> Natalie running. <laughs> And today is Thursday, December 19th. It's cloudy and cold today. And looking at the calendar, the first official day of winter is Saturday. Do you know the first official day of winter is Saturday, Isabella? Then it'll officially be winter? Uh, I don't know. A book mess down here? You gonna be a doctor? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't think that's how the doctor dress-ups that works, Isabella. I'm a robot. Are you a robot? Yeah. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. How do you do robot moves? <laughs> She's a giggly robot. <laughs> and Natalie's a rock star. She is a rock star. No, I'm a doctor. Now you're a doctor? Hi, Doc Bella. I think that you need to ask Santa for a Doc McStuffins doctor set, Natalie. I'm too fine. <laughs> We're having mine issues. It's mine. It's mine. It's my doctor set. It's and my dad just called the girl's grandpa, and uh, he did a little extra toy shopping. <laughs> oh, he wanted to pick up a few extra things. This ended up being about $250, apparently. So I'm going to have to go through and do some editing before Christmas in this room. I'm just going to try to start weeding out all the like little tiny baby things. And I donated a lot of toys to the family that was having a new baby. I gave them some of our babyish toys that the girls hadn't used in a long time. But I'm going to try to go through and find some other stuff that we got weeded out. Because I think we're going to need the space at this point. Are we going to need the space? You want to read Monkey's Miserable Monday? A book about M? Okay. Looks over his math homework. He sees two mistakes. What a miserable Monday, Monkey mutters. Monkey runs out the door to catch the school bus. Whoops, he trips on the mat. Apples start with A. Apples start with A. What all starts with M? What can we find? Do you see a mug? That's a reindeer. Reindeer start with R. But you know what starts with an M that looks like a reindeer? That's a moose. A moose looks like a reindeer. It's only a little bit bigger. The moose start with M. Yeah, a moose starts with M. You're inspecting your book? I'm looking with my looking glass. You're looking with your looking glass? And now we're going to read the nicest newt and find things that start with the letter N. How many things can you find that start with the letter N? Is a little newt. Another newt. Lots of newts on this page. Well, that's a gigantic mom fail that I don't even have to admit, but I looked up and I'm like, why are these kids so tired? It's only 12.15. Yep, that clock does not say 12.15. That says 1.15. That explains why you're so tired. We gotta go do nap time. I don't know how it ended up getting so late. Their party must have run late. 
All right, girls, let's go take a rest. Night night, sweet dreams. Night night, sweet dreams. Night night, go seeps. Have a good rest. <laughs> Jim Bell's giant pile of teddy bears. <laughs> it's rest time. <laughs> Well, that's totally funny because that hasn't happened in a long time. I usually have a pretty good idea of what time it is roundabouts, you know. But I honestly did not look at the clock when we left the party. I just assumed that we were leaving around about the time that school normally got out. But I guess it was a little bit later. So normally we come home, eat lunch, and it's about rest time. So I just had glanced at the clock earlier and I thought it was around noon. It was apparently around 1. <laughs> So I apparently got home a little bit later than usual. So I, was, I kept looking at him going, why are you guys so tired? It's only 12.15. They usually, the earliest they lay down is sometimes 12.30. They usually are resting in bed by 1. And so I was like, why are you guys so tired? It's 12.15. It's because it was 1.15 and they normally would have already been resting by then. So I was going to show you guys a couple of the cards that I picked up today at the post office. Very, very pretty card. Thank you so much, Jody from Australia. I got your card, so thank you so much. And you guys that sent cards today, um, internationally, if you guys are not in the U.S., probably a week, week and a half, I'm not sure. Hopefully, maybe not before Christmas, I'll try to get them in the mail today or tomorrow. And then this super little card, this little cute little guy from the Neverland, from Kathleen in the Neverlands, this cute little puppy guy, so I'm going to show him too. So that is pretty much the main thing that I'm going to be doing during rest time is replying to Christmas cards from you guys and then also some other Christmas cards I need to rip. I got the majority of our family ones out. Um, I still have one Christmas card exchange for Bella that I need to get cards out for that and I've already done all my purse exchange ones. So I'm slowly ticking through everything. We need to go to Target. My husband, one of the things he asked for was a small microwave for his office. He's like people at his work joke he's got like a little bunker set up because he's already got like a little refrigerator in there and so he wants to get a microwave because he's one of those people he just works straight through lunch he very rarely like if he goes out with like a group of people as like a social thing <clears throat> but um he he doesn't even like like tearing himself away from his desk he just works through lunch so he asked one of the things he asked for for Christmas was a microwave as a real small one to put in his office so people at work are probably gonna like crack up probably when they see that he has a microwave in his office so anyhow I thought I would go out to Target and get him a little microwave although I just saw this on my Facebook feed earlier and I haven't had a chance to read in the news articles if you guys shop at Target, which you probably have already heard by now because these things, my videos are getting uploaded and edited on like a two day delay at this point. But Target had a huge data breach. And I'm like, great, that's awesome. Because obviously I shop at Target multiple times a week. So I'm a, probably a huge risk for having my data stolen because it's in there so many times. So I'm like, that's super, super awesome. So if you shop at Target, shop at Target a lot. Check your statements and keep a close eye on them because apparently there's a huge risk of them getting hold of any credit card number that you have used there when you've checked out. And I'm assuming it's, you know, the same for Target debit cards and all that kind of stuff. So what a mess that could turn out into. Anyhow, I need to look into it. I don't know any of the details. I should probably look that up during nap time too. So I'm going to get cracking on that stuff. And the kids are probably be sleeping pretty late at this point because it's now like 1.30. So nap time has been hugely productive. I think the kids should be waking up soon. I got a lot of Christmas cards made out and those will probably all be mailed tomorrow. I still need to get everything boxed up that needs to get mailed. Present wise, I need to do that tomorrow. And other than that, just been working on getting the video for you guys uploaded for the daily vlogmas video and making the thumbnail for that. And um, oh, also I filmed a box box review for my other channel. Anyhow, so that's what I've been doing during half slightly really productive. And I'm trying to think. Well, I was thinking about going to Target to get my husband's gift, but it's not going to happen today because it's so late. So I'll have to put that on the uh, schedule to do tomorrow. So Bella is up from nap, and we have these wonderful all about winter books. I'm going to try to find these for each season. We got those fall ones. You like the red bird one? I like this one. Animals in winter. So we'll read these as we're eating our snack, and then we can read them all after snack, too. These look like they're fun. People in winter. All about what you have to wear and everything. Snowflakes. I think this will be a good set. And this is all about snow, which is neat. And I didn't get it on video, but I pulled these out. And these are the books she's most excited about. We got an I Spy pack that has I Spy Santa Claus, I Spy Candy Cane, 
I Spy Thanksgiving and I Spy Penguin. I think it was the I Spy Winter Pack. And she was like, oh, more I Spy? These are her favorite books ever. And we've started reading these at night. And she sits there and lays and reads it while she goes to bed. So she'll be and very excited. Day. Yeah, you can look at them during the daytime, too. It's daytime ones. <laughs> daytime ones. And she got this pencil from her teacher. They got little bags from their teacher. And, uh... She opens it up, she holds up the pencil, and she goes, a wand! <laughs> She's very excited about the pencil, weren't you? <laughs> oh, so you can look at your I Spy books, and these will be fun to read through, because they are all new. These are some of our favorite books ever. Help. All right, I Spy a belt. So let's look up at the top here and see if we can find a belt. So I'm now cooking dinner. I drug everything out and I tried to get some clips for another lookbook with Natalie. Natalie, not quite as into it as Bella, so Bella definitely wanted to change clothes and do it all over again. Natalie, not such a fan, not such a fan. So I did get a couple good shots, especially this morning, and I'll try seeing what I have when I edit tonight and seeing if I can maybe get some more tomorrow, but I think that may be about it. <laughs> you did not like the changing of the clothes, did you? No, not a fan. Yeah, the toy is a hit. So between regular cards and then we're doing some exchange, I'm doing some exchanges with you guys obviously and then I have a purse group I'm doing exchanges and that sort of thing. I'm starting to run out of table space and like I'm putting in things like down there the girls are grabbing and I put them across the mantle and girls are grabbing. So what I came up with is I'm actually going to start putting them up here and so I can display some for the girls. I'm just going to try to fit as many as I can up on their bulletin board. I'm going to go run errands. Are you going to go run errands? And then we're going to have dinner here in a minute because Daddy's on his way home. All right, I think that's going to be cute. So I have a stack in the um, kitchen that I'm going to go ahead and bring in here. And I think I can fill up that board. And then I had a great idea. Now, I'm not going to do a close-up because I don't know. I know the people that I know personally probably don't want theirs. And then I don't know about you guys as far as the photo pictures. I haven't been showing any of those, the photo cards. Just because, you know, privacy thing. But I thought what I can do, because those kind of fall over and stuff, if you put them in the middle, I can line those up along the, you know, sides of the brick. So that would work too. So I kind of like that idea. I mean, I'm not just like taping things to my mantle, but, you know, it's kind of a neat idea to be able to display more. So I'm going to try to work on that tonight. <laughs> And that is it for our vlog day today, another day in Vlogmas. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. And we'll be back tomorrow with some sort of video. I am very excited today because, well tonight anyways, the UPS guy dropped off my purse display cabinet. So we're hopefully going to be getting that inside this weekend and my, I'll help my husband put it together. It's not going to be tomorrow probably, probably maybe like Saturday or Sunday. So whenever that's together, I'll be excited to share it with you guys and the first room will be one step closer to being almost complete. Then the only thing they'll be missing is the chair for the room actually and that's it. Then it's totally up to me to get stuff up on the walls and sorted out and everything. So I'm very excited and I'm hoping the purse cabinet's not broken because <laughs> the box is really damaged. It's just, I don't know what it is, but not good luck with UPS here. Anyhow, so that is it for the day. Very excited about the purse cabinet and we'll be back with another vlogmas video tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.